Imbolc, the reawakening of spring, is celebrated on the night of February 1st to February 2nd. This festival marks the awakening of nature in winter. The unseen seeds under the white layers of snow are waiting to be finally greeted by the light and warmth of the sun. And we, just like the seeds, are waiting to break through the still frozen soil of the earth to greet us in spring with beautiful colors. We too are waiting to greet these fragile little buds and sprouts because they mark a fresh new start. They mark the time of spending more time outside again rather than staying inside. Just like the flowers and the animals, we too are called outside once again. The days are getting noticeably longer. And even though it is still cold, the sky shows itself in the most magnificent blue more often now. So this festival really is all about the returning of the light and cleansing. This festival is inviting us to allow the fresh breeze of the last winter days to really cleanse and clean our homes and our minds. And I remember as a child when the winters were still pretty long and the sun didn't make a whole lot of an appearance. I was looking at the sky thinking if I would ever meet the sun again. And we have to understand that our ancestors When there was no artificial light, they were spending most of winter in darkness inside their homes. And I'm sure they could not wait to let the darkness behind them and invite the sunlight back into their lives in spring, spending their days outside while birds were chirping. So Imbolc was marking the light at the end of the tunnel. It was a turning point. So this day... Winter has been driven out of the houses and spring was finally invited in. Knowing the background of Imbolc, it makes sense that there is a traditional cleansing of the home that time of the year in a lot of cultures. Getting rid of everything that is no longer serving you 
and that is just sitting around collecting dust and therefore is representing stuck energy but we want to leave winter behind now is the time for a fresh wind that is sweeping through your house making space for all the new ideas and all the new beginnings in your life so to me this will be the biggest ritual for Imborg. And I love decluttering and even though I do this every single month, it has a very special meaning to me on Imbolg because it connects me deeper to the cycles of nature. Giving away things that you no longer need can be so freeing. And it is only after that that I feel like I am ready to invite spring and that I am ready to receive all the fresh ideas and new beginnings because now there is space for that. I also love to use a powerful cleaning product that is completely natural and self-made. And the best part about that is that while you are making your cleaning product, you can infuse it with your intentions. Intentions like new ideas and new opportunities, a fresh new start in any area of your life or anything you would like to connect to Imbolc can be put into your cleaning product. You can also make a spell that you speak while making it to give it even more power. And it is really so easy to make. All you need are orange peels or lemon peels and apple cider vinegar, a jar, a strainer and a spray bottle. First peel the oranges or lemons and remove any remaining fruit pulp from the peel. Then collect all of your orange peels or lemon peels in a glass with a lid and after that simply fill apple cider vinegar until the rim of the glass and close the jar. Shake it and all you need to do now is to store it in a dark place for about one to two weeks and after letting it sit for this time you can pour your orange cleanser through a strainer into a spray bottle. Make sure to label your DIY cleansing product because it looks like juice and make sure it is out of reach of small toddlers. I personally love to add essential oils like rosemary, lavender oil or peppermint to give it even more cleansing properties and witchy properties but that step is optional. And just like that you made a powerful orange cleanser that will leave your house smelling fresh and clean. After decluttering and cleaning every single room I also decided to cleanse each and every corner of my home. But before that, I sat down to craft a special tool for that specific purpose. After a storm recently, I collected a bunch of silver birch branches that were broken down by the force of the wind. And I wanted to make them into a broom. So I thought Imbolc would be the perfect time for that. Silver birch is the tree that represents new beginnings as well, just like Imbolc. Using the broom I made gave the cleansing ritual an even deeper meaning. I used my broom to clean the corners of the rooms and visualize the stuck energies swirling up, ready to be left out through the windows. While cleaning, open all of your windows to really let the wind swirl everything up and take it out through your windows. If it is too cold or you cannot do so, you can also simply open one of your windows, but you want that energy to swirl up 
and get out of your home. Now your home is ready to welcome the fresh new energies of spring. The festivals of the Wheel of the Year always mark the perfect time to redecorate your altars and to invite the current energy that is present in nature into your life. That means putting away any Yule decorations and everything that is symbolizing stagnation and withdrawal and winter in general. Dried flowers, pine cones, dried oranges and everything else can go. I really cannot wait for all the spring flowers to make their appearance and I'm sure the fairies are just as happy as I am when they can dance around their flower friends again. And this is the energy that we want to invite in our homes right now. Fresh flowers, colors of spring, a colorful candle and everything that symbolizes blossoming and awakening for you maybe on your Imbolc altar. I decided to put my fairies on my altar because to me fairies are the perfect representation of the energies of spring. I wanted to invite playfulness and lightness which fairies represent to me. Imbolc is not only representing the awakening of the light in nature but also in ourselves. The awakening of new ideas, new intentions and new creativity. I love to use green and yellow candles on my Imbolc altar because they are the ultimate spring color to me but you can of course use whatever color resonates with you. I love candle magic and Imboig is the perfect day to do some candle magic using organic candles that are dressed in oils. For colors think of spring and use candles that represent the fresh colors of flowers and sprouts. To me these colors are a soft green, white, purple, a bright yellow or a soft blue. First clean your candle with salt water. For this you can use any soft cloth made from a natural material such as linen, wool or cotton. Sweep the energies away from you by cleaning your candle towards the wick. By that you make sure that all cleansing energies are being removed. This is especially important if you bought the candle. After that engrave your candle with your intention, the purpose of the ritual into your candle. You can engrave short sentences if possible, but also words, symbols or sigils. Symbols for Imbol could be spring flowers, a fire that could symbolize your inner fire, your inner passion ready to be reawakened, or even Bridget. Seeds, a broom, 
a chalice or cauldron, the Bridget cross or the Triscal, or whatever is calling out to you. To give your candle ritual even more magic, let the fire help you burn your intention. So you want to write from the wick towards the bottom of the candle. It is not important that you start directly at the top of the wick, it is only important that the writing direction is correct. The fire then writes your letters word for word. Now dress your candle in oil. I love using lavender oil to dress my candles, but you can use whatever you like. You can use a cloth or your fingers to rub the oil from the end of the candle towards the wick and you want to dress the candle away from your body to make everything that should go away flow away from you and if you want to gain something, you simply dress the candle in the direction of your body so that you can attract everything like a magnet. You see, simple steps like that in a ritual can be so powerful. And now your candle is ready to be used. Sit with your candle as long as possible. I love to use small candles because that way I make sure to sit with the candle until it is completely burned. And after that, I know that my intention was sent out. If you like to work with deities on these festivals, you can call upon Bridget, a powerful goddess. This goddess that is connected to Imbolc is also known as the goddess of light. With Bridget is also associated fire and blacksmith art. She will be delighted by the flame of the candle as she is closely connected to fire. And you can invite her and work with her in your practice or set up an altar especially for her if you feel called to do so. Tell Bridget about all the things that you are ready to receive and ask her for her support for your plans. Do more research about Bridget if you feel this nudge inside of you. If this is not calling out to you, of course you don't have to work with this deity. At the end of each Sabbath I love making a ritual bath. To me it feels like washing away everything that was present that day that is ready to go. So after cleansing your home, you can make some time for yourself to do a cleansing ritual bath on Imbolc. Use candles, crystals, flowers and herbs and anything you would like to bring this magical day to an end. So I hope you enjoyed this little witch's guide to Imbolc. If you did, don't forget to do the YouTube magic and subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. And let me know how do you celebrate? What are your favorite rituals? I hope you have a beautiful Imbolc and may all your desires come true this year. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!